Photos from February 8th taken off the west side of San Juan Island show the J-Pod ant, the newest member, J-62, a female orca calf. I will say I'm very excited that there's a female orca calf, right? I mean, J needs that really bad. That's because right now the size of the population is a problem. There are 73 whales left in the southern resident community. Optimum population should be at least 150, around 200 would be a robust population. Howard Garrett, co-founder of Orca Network, says a lack of food is a key factor. By far the main problem with these uh, orcas survival with reproductive success is nutrition, is having enough food. And their food, as they have specialized in for thousands of years, is primarily Chinook salmon, the big fatty Chinook. They need to have more calves that survive. I was out watching Tahlequah push J61 around on January 2nd. The orca's female baby did not survive late last year. She was seen carrying the calf's body. That's just heartbreaking. Until these recent photos. J35 Tahlequah was seen on February 8th and was looking good, but without uh, the, her dead calf. The whales need our help. So if we, could, if we could leave them alone and restore the ecosystem so that it was, so there were abundant salmon and no pollution and not a bunch of noise, they would recover with no problem. While there's more work to do, many view welcoming a new female addition as a victory. It's hopeful. It's hopeful. Right now, the number of Southern residents has reached its lowest level in decades. Joyce. And Natalie, what are some of the top contributing factors there? Well, advocates say there is not enough Chinook salmon and too much noise and pollutants in the water. Can tell you a new law did go into effect this year requiring boaters to stay a thousand yards away from southern resident killer whales. Mm -hmm. Joyce. Natalie Swaby reporting live for us tonight. Thanks. <laughs>